Hello everyone. Today we are starting our new unit. It's going to be our trig unit, but for a little of introduction before we get to the trig part, we're going to work on similarity. So for this first day, we are going to be talking about similar polygons. And so we have something called corresponding parts of similar polygons. So let's say triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Then these two things are going to be true. The first one is that the corresponding angles are going to be congruent. And the second thing that are that the sides are going to be either enlarged or reduced by a scale factor k. In other words, the corresponding sides are proportional. And so to illustrate that, we have this diagram down here. So I have my triangle ABC, and through a similarity transformation, which we learned about last semester in chapter four, I am going to have this other similar triangle. And I see that all of my angles are congruent. So like angle A is congruent to angle D, angle B is congruent to angle E, angle C is congruent to angle F. And I know the, that because of those arc marks. But then I also see that all my sides, to get from triangle ABC to triangle DEF, I multiplied all of the sides by the scale factor K. And so again, this is really, really kind of going back to what we did in chapter four in that last section where we found that scale factor K. And we see that these ratios end up being the same. And so to find, for instance, a scale factor from triangle ABC to triangle DEF, I'm going to take all the sides from triangle DEF and divide it by their corresponding sides. So the sides that kind of match up. For instance, AB and DE, those are corresponding sides here. I know that first just from looking at it, they're both the shorter side in the triangle. But then I can also see from my arc marks here, they're both the side that have the one and two arc mark. So we'll use this concept in the next video.